All right, I'm ready. If everybody else is ready, um, th thank you guys for uh, having me and I'll be introducing our guest in just a minute. I need to share the screen, so. Um, and I wanna make sure that I get audio. Is there, oh, share sound and optimize, okay. Okay, am I still there? Cause now yes. everybody left. Okay, <laughs> I don't like when it, when you can't see everybody but that's okay. So I'll just pretend I see everybody here. So um, I'm here just to kind of uh, introduce uh, a, a collaborative that's going on within Mesa called Move One Mesa and Move One Million. I mean, it's been a partnership over the last couple of months with Mesa Public Schools, City of Mesa, Mesa Chamber of Commerce, and the Mesa Public Schools Foundation, and a nonprofit um, called Move One Million. Um, what some of the folks that have come together, uh, we're really kind of focusing on uh, post-pandemic, right? We're seeing light at the end of the tunnel. We know that, um, you know, with increased vaccination access, uh, with which is amazing today, anybody over the age of 16 and older can register for a vaccine. Uh, we have uh, consistent in-person learning happening in our schools here in Mesa, um, that there's, there's kind of this hope to get back to this uh, normalcy. And um, so, but what do we wanna do and what do we want, what have we learned over the last uh, year? Um, and we know that physical health and mental health have been pr pretty much front and center of um, dealing with this pandemic. But then what are some other things that we would want to focus on as a community? And the things that came up are kindness and community service. Oops, sorry. Um, so together we worked with uh, the nonprofit Move One Million to see how we can help as a, as a community move us towards these community priorities. So I have a little video to show you here. Can you guys hear it? The community has been incredibly divided and with a lot of different feelings and opinions about what schooling should look like. We can hear it. And I think that Move One Mesa is an opportunity to build unison Thank and you. bring our community together to move forward. So Move One Mesa is really unifying all of us together to move forward towards these community priorities, such as physical health, mental health, kindness, and community service. And this includes community members from the city of Mesa, Mesa Public Schools, Mesa Public Schools Foundation, and the Chamber of Commerce, in addition to a great collaboration with Chris Powell and his Move One Million initiative. Move One Million is the service project that I started to help millions of people take the very first step in their journey toward a better life and also to help bring us all together, especially in these crazy times. And as the whole thing started to come to fruition, as I made connections with people in my city, they understood the movement, they understood the mission and everybody rallied. They gave Move One Million this starting point to launch right here in the city in the form of Move One Mesa. And I couldn't think of a better place to begin this movement that's eventually gonna change the world, but right here in my city. And so now, with Move One Million, we can provide a service to move the entire city of Mesa from the schools to the general public to the hospitals to assisted living. We're gonna get everybody moving. We're gonna get everybody t coming together as one. Something like this is critically important to come in and, and address that very real and very serious need that we have in our community to do some things to address our emotional and our spiritual health in response to this horrible challenge that we've all had. Part of mental health is not just inside of your head, it's your actual physical body. So moving movement is so important. Making sure that you get enough sleep, making sure you eat right, and taking care of yourself. So working those good endorphins and that's what exercise does. So this movement is very important. I've started an initiative called Hashtag Mesa Kindness, and I'm trying to create a culture of kindness in our community. And so this works perfectly with Move One Mesa. As we move forward as one, kindness is really gonna help us be unified in that. And also, I love the one, meaning one person at a time, and one act at a time. Really, truly, one small thing every day could make such a big difference if everyone in our entire city, everyone in our schools was doing something that, to show kindness to each other. The Mesa Public Schools Foundation is a nonprofit that really brings the community and the school district together. It is really good for people to give a little bit beyond because it just strengthens the schools and it strengthens students and teachers. 
I know without a shadow of a doubt, 82 schools, 64,000 kids, we're gonna change a lot of lives for the better. Sorry. Our community has... Ah, there we go. So I'm going to stop talking and I'd like to introduce Chris Powell, who helped, led, lead, who, who helped lead all of us through those movements that you saw on the mountain. Just a real quick bio on Chris. You know, he's a Mesa resident and a Mesa public schools parent. He's got two kids that go to one of our elementary schools. He's a business owner. If you guys are wanting a, an app um, on health and wellness, then I encourage you to go to look at Transform. He's hosted a, a successful TV show on ABC um, called Extreme Weight Loss, New York Times bestselling author, graduated from ASU, founder of this, the nonprofit Move One Million, and he's, I put there, a super nice human being. And so, Chris, I'm going to let you take it from here. Thank you, Marlo. I appreciate it. And thanks so much, everybody, for having me uh, here at the party now. You know you can't invite me to your party without making everybody move. Sally, Sally Harrison, you know this too. <laughs> Every single time that she's like, oh, join us. She knows exactly what she's getting into. So with that being said, before we begin, I would love to introduce you to Move One Million, but more than just talking about it, I want you guys to feel it. So I will ask everyone right now, if you will, let me indulge you, stand up. And I'm going to take everybody through, this is just give me about six minutes of your time here. I'm going to take you through an introduction of the 13 movements, and then we're going to put it to some music and we're all going to move together. I want you to experience what this is all about and, and the service that we're bringing to the world. So really quick, um, Marlo, or actually whoever the admin is, is there any way you sure. can make me a part admin so I can share my screen? Here, I'll stop sharing and then you, I think... If you could, Ben, make sure he can sh share. Amazing. We're good to go. Excellent. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to go ahead and share this one right off the bat. And this is a super, super simple list right now that we're going to go down. And then I'm going to surprise you all with a, a much cooler visual of what it is that we're going to do. But right off the bat, here's what we're going to do. And make sure you guys can actually like see me in your screen as well. We're going to explore 13 movements. There's a reason why there's 13, and I will get into the whole nitty gritty there. But essentially, these movements, this is a total body warm up from the top down that I created. Thank goodness I have a degree in exercise science from Arizona State University, forks up, and, um, and with concentrations in physiology, biomechanics. So I created a total body warm up, starts at the top, takes us all the way down full body. And essentially in the next two and a half minutes, two minutes and 23 seconds, we're gonna engage every major muscle group in, in your body. Everything's 100% modifiable so that you can just do it at your ability levels. But when it's all said and done, we're gonna oxygenate our brains. We're gonna oxygenate our muscles and our organs. We're gonna activate and engage every major muscle group in the human body. And then something magical happens when we come together. And I'm gonna tell you that part of the story later. So 13 movements, here we go. The very first movement we're gonna explore is a neck roll. Super easy. So I want everyone just to go through a nice neck roll so you experience this. <clears throat> so, oh, you guys are pros. I'm watching the screen right now. You guys are gonna make this way too easy on me. The next thing we're gonna do is, we're, as we move down the body, we're gonna do an arm circle. So this warms up the shoulders, and then we bring them in to an X, out to a Y, in to an X. Amazing. You guys, are, you guys are fantastic. Next thing we're going to do, it's called a hug stretch. We've done this all before. We've seen, you know who's amazing at it? Uh, Michael Phelps. We all see him do this thing where he goes like that. We're just going to do it standing up. Hug stretch. So go ahead and stretch it out. Stretch out those pecs. There you go, those rear delts. That's the hug stretch right there. Perfect. Next thing we're going to do is a reach and touch. Here's what I want you to think up here. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So we go reach. And then we touch our thighs and then we reach toward our toes. If you can't touch your toes, it's fine. Just reach toward them. And then I want you to touch your thighs and reach toward your toes three times. So we go one and two and three. As we get into the movement, we're going to do that twice. It's going to move a little fast, but I think you guys are going to get the hang of it. Next, we're going to explore as we move down our body. We're going to go after our trunk now with something we call tornadoes. So I want you to, if we're going to create a diagonal line up into the corner of the ceiling, down to the corner of the floor. So we're going to do four of these one way. Great job, everybody. See, you're all warming up your bodies now. 
You're oxygenating your brain, you're activating your muscles. Perfect, now let's try the other side. There you go, so up to the left corner, down to the right floor. Left high corner, down right floor. There you go, nice. All right, you guys just made this easy on me. Next thing we're gonna do, march it out. Just feel this. Now we're moving down into the lower body. We're gonna start warming up those lower body muscles with a march. Excellent. You guys have got this one down. Moving down to number seven. This is something we call a kickback. Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna step out. You're gonna kick one foot back and you're gonna reach for the sky. So you go reach, reach. That's it. And it stretches the quads and the lats. <laughs> now, you guys got that one down. Now we're gonna do a superhero stretch. This is what it looks like. I want everyone to stretch their chest out like this all the way over the top. Let's come right down to the middle. And just like Superman opens up his suit, his suit jacket, you're gonna do the same thing. Open it up so we can see the hero within you. And you're gonna see that we're storytelling here and it's all gonna to come together here really soon. From here, you just found the superhero within. You're gonna tighten up all of your muscles and you're gonna step forward and press it forward and step back. And then switch feet, press it forward and step back. Now let's take it out to the side. Let's squeeze our shoulders and raise them up and bring it back to the center. Good. Out to the other side, raise them up and bring it back to the center. And we're gonna step back and we're gonna press overhead. Yes. And then we're gonna switch feet and press overhead again. There we go. That's the star lunge. Now everyone just nice and easy. We're gonna jog it out. Just moving those feet in place. And then finally, we're gonna do the two final big movements of move one million. You're, it's just a, a quick little dip. We'll make, easy, make these fists like your palms facing toward your face. You're gonna come up and you're gonna reach over to the side. And you're gonna come back down and we're gonna do it on, on the other side. There we go, good. And a reach and one more, reach. Then we do what we call the Phoenix squat. Here we are, number 12, the Phoenix squat looks like this. And we're making a big circle like the wings of a phoenix. There you go. And then the final movement here is the hero's pose. So let's see the guns. Gotta see the guns, everyone get it, there you go. All right, that's what I wanna see. Now what's gonna happen, right after we do this, you're gonna hear the music like, kind of reaches this crescendo. And when it does, you can hit any pose you want. You can go like Jersey Shore, you can blow a kiss, you can point to the sky, you can go forks up devils. You can do whatever you want, but you guys gotta make it your own. Ben, I love that move right there, that was amazing. <laughs> you're, having way too, you're having way too much fun with this, I love it. Okay, speaking of fun, now we're gonna go ahead and put, put some music to this and we're gonna have a blast. So I'm gonna stop my share and I'm going to switch over to desktop, share my sound, and here we go. So welcome to Move One Million. It's gonna move a little faster. We're gonna put this to music and we're gonna have some fun with this. So we're gonna start off with the head roll. Do you wanna join us? Yeah. Okay, so my son Cash, he's gonna join us. He loves doing this with us. Okay. Oh, here comes Ruby. She's, she's my seven-year-old. She's gonna join us as well. Okay, so we're gonna talk you guys through this. Ready? In three, we're gonna start with a head roll to the right.
job, my friends. Great job. All right, that was amazing. There you go. Okay. Go ahead and bring you guys back over to here, and I'm gonna tell you a little story about what we just did. Okay, so that was two minutes and 23 seconds of movement, total body movement. I explained it to you. Full range of motion of the human body engages every major muscle group. While the movement is wildly important, um, it's what's happening behind the scenes that's even more important. Here's the story behind the whole thing. During the pandemic, like especially early on, I was uh, going through some of my own personal struggles and I, I, I love climbing the buttes around town and just looking down on the city at night and thinking about just the struggles that everybody's going through and what I could possibly do to help serve all those people that are struggling. Because I mean, Lord knows, we all got turned upside down over the last year. And I was thinking that I have been blessed with an amazing platform to be able to reach out to people. What can I possibly do with this to serve them? And um, I was asking myself this night after night after night, and I ended up coming down, sitting on my couch, turning on a documentary on Japan. And I, I watched the story. I didn't make it five minutes into the documentary because they said, every morning in Japan at 6.30 in the morning begins Rajio Taiso. Rajio meaning radio, Taiso meaning exercises or calisthenics. It started in 1928. Emperor Hirohito in 1928 had a major problem. His people weren't living past 40 to 45 years old. That was the life expectancy of the average Japanese citizen. And they were insanely divided. They were all coming up in these different villages that were growing into cities and they were not getting along. So he was trying to do two things. He was trying to make them healthier and he was trying to bring them all together. And I, I'm sitting there like, like dog-eared looking at the, at the TV like, what? <laughs> like, wait a second we're dealing with these same issues right now. Okay, now let's continue the story. By 1950, this is 1928. By 1955, Japan was the healthiest country in the world. Today, 2021, 92 years later, almost 93 years later now, 27 million Japanese citizens do Rajio Taiso today, every single day. It was ingrained into their culture. They embraced it and it helped change a country. And I just thought, that's it. Now here's the catch in 1928. It's the same 13 movements. It was three and a half minutes played to the exact same music is this dainty classical piano piece. And it was very like dance like movements that they kind of bounce through and they, they go through the 13 movements. And I thought we need this, but it's got to speak to the masses. It's got to be more powerful. We need to, it's got to span all generations. Plus, I can improve upon this. I have a degree in this, in movement, in the science of it. And I, backstory, I absolutely hated my piano lessons between five and 11, but it paid off because I actually learned how to play the piano. I wrote that music and I played it. And I wrote the music 11 years ago when I started working with my people through transformation because I was so inspired by their journey. The music actually, it's called the hero's journey. And, it, and this is what I want everybody to feel, is there's a hero inside all of us, whether we're five or we're 95. And that's why I wrote the music for them 11 years ago and I never shared it because there was never a place to do it until now. And I thought, well, I'm gonna choreograph these movements, human movements with the music so we can choreograph this and tell the story of the hero's journey. We'll enact, like we'll, we'll, essentially, we'll enact the hero's journey. And we need to do this every single day because we're trying to do the same thing that Emperor Hirohito was trying to do in 1928. We're more divided than ever. We're more sedentary than ever. According to World Health Organization, 264 million, America, er, million people in the world are depressed. 284 million have anxiety. That's diagnosed. Hundreds of millions undi undiagnosed. Loneliness is through the roof. Uh, suicide, through the roof. Depression, anxiety, we talked about all that. And obviously, you know, you talk about everything that's happened with the pandemic, an average of 12 to 15 pounds gained. We were already more sedentary than ever. We need to move. It's time for something like this more than ever. So started a nonprofit organization. We are 100% free service. We had, they had the radio back then. We got app technology now. We have website, apps, social media. We have the ability to take something like this to the masses. And that's exactly what we're doing. So starting 10 months ago, we broke ground, started building an app, started building out the technology to create broadcasts that we can air everywhere. 
from schools to hospitals to assisted living to correctional facilities to businesses and organizations for free to a 100% free app that anyone can download. And then there's a, there's a free broadcast at the top of every hour on the hour, seven days a week, 365 days a year. It's a different broadcast every day with different celebrity guests every day, just to make it fun and exciting and engaging. We've gamified the whole thing as well. So you can rank up their streaks. There's all of this. And, um, and, and the sole purpose is just number one, to get us to move and to move together. Because also with our technology, as you're following the broadcast, it'll activate your camera. And so you can watch yourself moving with everyone on the screen. So you can feel that togetherness because we just don't have that luxury right now. So I was thinking, how can we take this technology while we're so divided and bring us together? I didn't touch on this, but movement together, there's a whole science behind that. And it's called muscular bonding. It's been used for, for human interaction for centuries. This is why you see, you know, obviously dance that goes back thousands of years, soldiers moving in lockstep, Cal uh, regular calisthenics during basic training when they're trying to build teamwork and camaraderie. There's a reason why everything is done to a cadence. Everyone moves together. It builds a team. And now we can, we can extend this to every human. Again, from five to 95 schools. And I like talked about assisted living. I was I've just actually in conversation with Dignity Health and this is like the broadcast that there, I can share this with you. So when we actually push the broadcast out, um, it's really cool because any organization can put their logo on it. You simply upload your logo, you request the broadcast, you get it for free. We bring in all these people. These are random submissions from people around the world who will be participating. And then you can broadcast this to your entire company or assisted living home, hospital, et cetera. Then teamed up with uh, Mesa Public Schools, Thank you to Marlo. Thank you to Dr. Forlis, um, who connected me, obviously, with, with the whole Mesa Public School District. We're going to have 64,000 kids doing this after the Pledge of Allegiance in the mornings now. And it's two and a half minutes. And the teachers embraced it. Obviously, the, the PE teachers, but even the homeroom teachers, like, this is fantastic. We can get our kids to move, oxygenate their brains. They can get the willies out. And they can sit down. They can be in a much more ready state to learn. But then I was talking with Kathleen Dowler over at Dignity. She said, this would be incredible for the Alzheimer's, dementia patients, autism. It's the, the application is just, it's across the spectrum. So, and I thought, well, this is fantastic and it's free. <laughs> so we're 100% we're a, a free service. We're a nonprofit. So we just run, we work off the, the, the donations and sponsorships and that's it. So um, this is Move One Million. This is the dream of what it is. Our worldwide launch is Monday. It actually happens in, uh, in just five days now. And um, we're, we are a, we're actually gonna be a free app on the Google Play Store and on the Apple Store. Go, you can go to m1m.org. You can register your organization. Not quite yet. It'll be up and running in a couple of days. You can, you can go to m1m.org now. You can see it, but the, the, web, the website is not done yet. Um, but yeah, this is, this is who we are and that's our mission is to move 1 million people at least every single day. And we're, we're gonna do it and then some. So um, I'd love to take a, a moment. If you guys have any questions or comments, happy to answer anything. Alex, Alex are you raising your hand? Sorry, I was just doing the emoji clapping. Oh, the clapping, yay. <laughs> Chris, Chris, thanks for being here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, brother, absolutely. And just so you guys know, um, so we're using this, we're encouraging all of our teachers to like, you know, after Pledge of Allegiance, do two and a half minutes of movement. And then there's gonna be one minute of mindfulness. Great way to start the day with our kids. Also, since they'll be able to memorize the movements, they don't, um, they can actually take that home and be able to teach their family, their grandparents, you know, anybody there. And then again, kind of building this daily culture of starting your day with movement, which in, you know, is um, a priority of physical health. It helps, you know, when we're moving, that helps our mental health. Um, so it's kind of this overarching initiative to really start each day focusing on these priorities. Absolutely. Yeah, looking to standardize movement and mindfulness, kind of weave it into our culture. And we, I do genuinely believe, and we've seen this across time, um, you know, especially like if you look at the timeline in Japan, 
it was between 1928, but by 1955, it was the healthiest country. Same thing with like the, you know, no smoking campaigns. You start them in the 80s and by 2010, you finally start to see the numbers drop. So it, it takes a generation. So if we can start weaving this in now, number one, we can offer service to anyone who's even 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, but then we really start push, you know, supporting these kids as well. And we can really start to see a change in the long-term culture that we were kind of weaving in. We're, and we're, as Marla was saying, the beauty of it is the simplicity of it. If you want people to memorize something and to know it for life, it must be simple. It can't be something different every day. The Pledge of Allegiance, for example, I'm sure everybody here could recite it. It's because you do it every single day. We're gonna give our children the gift of something that for the rest of their lives, they will know how to move their body, they will know the very first step to changing their, their life and their body and their health forever. Because a lot of times they're like, I don't even know where to start. I don't know what to do. You start with two and a half minutes, move one million. It's the it's best place to begin, whether again, you're five or you're 95. We just want to give everybody that very first step. Chris, a quick question, if I might. Uh, yeah. You know, they say sitting is the new smoking. And I think it really is uh, going to impact our life, just sitting and, and staying in this sedentary lifestyle. Um, you know, you said it's important for us to move, but I'd like to be able to get the movements down in this thing. And I'm wondering, do you have a YouTube channel so that we can actually practice the moves when we start doing this? I, I can do one better than that, my friend. Yes, that's a great question. So um, actually, when, when you go to so the app, free download, of course, and also on the website, there's a whole section that's just called the movements. So I'm going to pull that up real quick. And these movements, there's both sitting movements, and I know you guys saw in the corner, you saw Amy Van Dyken, who is a six-time Olympic gold medalist swimmer, broke her back in a motorcycle accident six years ago. And so she was doing the seated movements. Again, it's for everybody. So you can choose between standing or seated. And here's Amy. And you can select each movement. It'll explain how to do the movement. So here we go. Here's neck rolls. And you can simply watch the video. And you can see Amy performing neck rolls here. And so you can practice that in slow motion, but then you can also see, it'll tell you all the muscles. I don't know, my, my screen's too bright. It'll tell you all of the muscles that are engaged and also the storytelling, what that movement means in the choreography of the, the entire thing. And so, so we can do all of that for you. And this is also on the website, move1million.org. And at the same time, if you want to just practice, you just simply go to learn the routine. And this will also be on the website as well. And it's the full tutorial where I just go through the whole thing in super slow motion. And I promise you after about two or three practice runs, you'll know it'll, it'll, it'll start to flow really well and you'll be a pro. Give yourself one week and you're gonna know exactly how this thing goes and you'll hear it in the music and the music will actually prompt the, the motion as it tells the story. It works really well. Great question, Jerry, thank you. Uh, any other questions? Everybody's tired from moving. <laughs> Any <Anyone? laughs> one. Must be energized after moving. I know. I, I'm tired. <laughs> I have a question for you, Chris. Um, you've you've penned a number of articles and some of the health magazines. Uh, can you tell me one of the tell us one of the, the the ones that really resonate with you? One of the ones that one of the topics that you think are most important that you've written about. Oh, that's a good question, Ben. Um, I, yes, I would. The, uh, the, I've actually written a handful of articles. Hold on, really quick, Ruth. That's amazing. She just built a, a new little Lego set. So, <laughs> is it? I know. Um, <laughs> sorry for the interruption. It's, it's, the, it's the times, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yes, sir. Um, there's. I've written a couple articles in a handful of publications about integrity and about integrity being the root of transformation. A lot of people think that, that we change people's physical state. Well, you change people's physical state through diet and exercise, but the thing is you don't transform anybody through diet and exercise because the thing is there has to be that compliance and in order for people to really embrace the nutrition and exercise, because the thing is anyone can grind for 90 days and just follow a program, but if we're gonna make a lifelong change, you have to completely change the conversation. And I've written about this multiple times because this is the real the platform that I've stood on for quite some time. And this is the magic behind what you actually see in our show. 
because a lot of people they watch the show they go oh my gosh how do you help everybody they lose 200 pounds a year what's the secret what's the diet i said there's no we cover the diet in about 30 minutes we cover the exercise program in maybe 15. it's really simple so when i say it's it's all about integrity when i say integrity it's doing what you say you're going to do when you say you're going to do it and i'll quick example here when i when we actually start our transformations with everyone behind the scenes we actually bring all transformers into one room at one time i know you see one person's journey through the year we bring them all together i'll stand there in front of the whole the whole group of them 40 of them 50 of them i'll say hey you're all here because you have no integrity and you could imagine the looks i get everyone's like hey, whoa, 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 hold on um let me define this really quick i'm sure you have integrity with other people if you tell someone you know you tell your friend you're gonna you're gonna show up at noon you're there at noon right yeah. Tell, you know, you tell your kids you're going to pick up the, the up at five. You're there at five. But how many times have you all told yourself the diet starts Monday? Uh, how many times have you told yourself that you're going to set the, the, the alarm early tomorrow at 530 and you're going to, we're going to wake up and do 30 minutes of cardio. And everyone's like, oh, thing is like we have integrity with other people, but we have no integrity with ourselves. And once you change that part of the conversation and you change that paradigm, you realize the value of your word to yourself. And the biggest mistake that most people make when they're starting a transformation, they're taking on nutrition and exercise, they're taking on too much. The statistics say, behavioral change statistics say, you can take on one, humans can take on one commitment at a time. Humans in the, these mass studies, when they give them one change, say drink an extra quart of water a day. Most of them can do that with an, eight, an over 80% chance of success. That's great, of long-term success. The moment you give a human two things, you say drink a, cal a quart of water a day and deliberately move for 10 minutes a day, that success drops to 30%. The moment you give them 3%, it drops to less than 5%. I'm sorry, three things drops less than 5%. There's no, the, it's, the, it's the mathematics, it's the statistics of it. The moment you give a human more than one thing to do, the math is against them. And that's why you see nine out of 10 people fail over and over and over again. It's, it's not about the diet and exercise. It's about the commitment that you make to yourself. And you give them one thing to do at a time. And when they can consistently do that over time, you allow them to build on, on, upon that one thing at a time. Our transformations <laughs> are done very, very slowly because it's done one promise at a time. That's how you transform a human not diet and exercise. You transform them one promise at a time. And when they understand the value of that promise to themselves, changes everything. When, when, when that person becomes a promise keeper to themselves, that's when they transform. That's when it's my job as a, as a coach, just to step out of their way, just let them go. Because th they're, gonna, they're gonna do extraordinary things. Awesome. So, thank you. Sorry for the long-winded answer. No, it's good. Just, <laughs> we just, I told Ben we'd give him the last five minutes. So thank you, Chris, for being with us. We appreciate you. And, um, and hopefully everybody will engage in the Move One Million and the Move One Mesa initiatives and appreciate your time. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here, Chris. And we're glad you're right here in Mesa, Arizona. It's great to have you. Always Thanks. representing. I was born at Desert Sam. And so yep, definitely representing. And again, if this is something that, that resonates with you guys, share it. That's what we're here for. We're just share it with corporations, businesses, small businesses, organizations, however we can. We're just going to try to get everybody to move and spread some movement, some light, and some love around. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, guys. See ya.